We're about to get a rare glimpse into the most secretive armed group under Iraq's popular mobilization forces, Brigade 45, better known as Kataib Hezbollah. This is the first time journalists have been allowed into one of its military bases. Kataib Hezbollah is nominally incorporated into Iraq's security apparatus, but has been accused of acting outside the formal chain of command. Al Jazeera gained exclusive access to this location in southern Baghdad after it was raided by Iraq's counter-terrorism forces. The Iraqi government says it had been tipped off that a rocket was about to be launched from this facility towards the Green Zone, where U.S. and other diplomatic missions are based. Fourteen people were arrested and several weapons seized. But the group says the raid was illegal, carried out without an arrest warrant. If they have evidence for this allegation, they can show it to the people. But here, there are no missiles and launching pads. This base has been here since 2015, and we have a formal letter from Baghdad Operations Command. This base is used for logistical support. This was once a farm that belonged to Saddam Hussein's government. After 2003, it was taken over by Al-Qaeda and bombed during the sectarian conflict. During our visit, we didn't see flags or signs marking it as an official facility belonging to the Popular Mobilization Forces, and none of the soldiers' war insignia. The PMF is being targeted, so we didn't keep the flags because the surveillance drones are always flying around here. Our visit was tightly controlled. Three fighters were allowed to speak on camera under the condition they hide their faces and withhold their names. They admitted they're not just part of the popular mobilization forces, but also the so-called Islamic resistance, which fought U.S. troops in the wake of the 2003 invasion. They still regard America's presence in Iraq today as an occupation. We are both at the same time the resistance and the popular mobilization forces. The resistance was formed before the popular mobilization forces. It fought the occupiers after 2003 and expelled them in 2011. To this day, the resistance groups are standing against occupation. The U.S. has previously bombed Kataib Hezbollah positions in Iraq and has pressured the Iraqi government to take action. The raid on this base was an unprecedented move by the Iraqi government against groups that the U.S. has accused of targeting its forces. Prime Minister Mustafa al-Kadhimi has promised to restrict weapons in the hands of the state, but the backlash against this operation shows just how difficult it is to deliver on those promises. The night of the raid, a convoy of pickup trucks with heavily armed men breached the fortified green zone to demand the release of the 14 people detained hours earlier. The government yielded, handing them over to the popular mobilization forces, which acquitted them days later. Kataib Hezbollah released images showing its fighters as they stepped on the prime minister's picture and burned the American and Israeli flags. Their interviews were broadcast on Kataib Hezbollah's own channel. It was all to deliver a stern message to Iraq's Prime Minister. The Prime Minister has totally failed, and he has to understand if he relies on the Americans rather than the Iraqi people, he will fail. And if he continues this way, he will show his cards as an agent of the Americans, and that he serves the Americans more than his homeland. A government spokesperson says one of the 14 detainees remains in custody, but has not provided details. The government's subdued response has left many questions unanswered and has raised doubts on whether the Prime Minister is able to confront powerful groups like Kataib Hezbollah. Simona Foltin, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.